back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Welcome to the Web Developers Lunch Break. All right. So today we got a question, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I do apologize. Uh, I'm basically trying some new things out, but yeah. Okay. So K Town Fifty said. When you design something, do you just jump into your code or do you do drawings to decide what you will do first? I guess I am asking you, uh, do you have a model that you follow for each site? Well, this is what I'm going to say. Basically, I should be drawing things out. I should be planning things out. But 90% of the time... Uh, either clients or uh, employers that I work for, they need results as soon as possible. So it's like I start coding, like before I even plan anything out. Like I know there's, like let's say it's an e-commerce website, so I know there has to be uh, a front page, a products page, a categories page, um, you know, a cart. So then I start building those things, right? So then after that. Uh, you know, whatever comes up, like if the special cases that I have to go in there and, you know, create like a, a brand new component or create logic that's different from every other e-commerce website that I've done before, then I focus on that. Um, but most of the times so I, I just start building the pages as soon as possible. Even if I don't have the design, I still go out my way and just start building them because you just have to get started. Sometimes employers or, you know, a client might just be like, man, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to knock this out as soon as possible. So that's how I do things. Now, I wish I, I had the opportunity to just plan things out every single time. But the reality of things is, is that it, it just doesn't happen like that. Most of the time, people just want things as soon as possible. So you just have to start coding, right? Or like whenever I'm building my own personal projects, I don't sit down and, and start writing down like the things that I'm going to add to it. I just start building the pages and I just start coding away, man. Because in reality, it's like I already built so many different type of pages that I know exactly what each one needs to needs to have like you know if i if i'm doing an e-commerce website i know it's gonna be a front page a categories page a, a way to filter the the products or a, a payment gateway like i know all those things now if i'm building something like a social media um website like a i don't know social media site or even i don't know anything right it's like most of the times i already built something like that so I already know that in my head, I know exactly what type of pages it needs. Like if I'm building my portfolio, like I know I need, I need to have a, an about page, a, a contact page, um, you know, and then from there I just start building it. You know, there's times that I have the opportunity to start making the designs beforehand, but since I know how to code, like there's times that it's quicker for me to just start coding it. Like, if I have an idea of how the design should be, most of the time, I don't go into Sketch and, and start drawing it and or start designing it. And I'd rather just go in and just start building it myself because I already know what styles I want, what colors I want. Like, it's all in my head already right now. If I have to give it to you and you're a brand new developer, I'm like, man, I got the design in my head. I want him to create that. I have to design it for you. But if I'm the building, you know, things just for me, like I'm doing it just for me, man. Like I'm, I'm going in there straight code, a straight HTML, CSS. Like I have an idea in my head and I just build it. You know, for you guys, I would say it's good to plan things out. It's very, very good to plan things out. But not every job is going to let you plan things out <laughs> ahead of time, you know, there's always a deadline. There's always something like, oh, can we build this as soon as possible? Can we build this by tomorrow? Can you build me a, a, a fucking a Facebook clone by next week? And in reality, you're like, it's not possible. I can build you a couple of pages, but to have all the features that Facebook has, nah, it takes time, right? So, yeah, man, that's all I would say, right? But, um, yeah, man, I like the question, man. Definitely is a good question because... A lot of people wonder, like, man, do I start planning things out? Do I just start going 
as soon as possible and it all depends man if you have the time like right now if you're a brand new developer and you're like you want to get a, a, a project very solid and you're like i don't want to have to deal with bugs i don't want to have to deal with uh the problems that come with uh, a website when you're it's not planned then plan it out you know draw some some uh, some sketches of how you want the layouts to be um write down uh how you want the database to be you know if you have the time for that do it if you don't then you don't you just have to go in and you know start building things that's what i do you know what i mean but yeah man uh any questions that you guys might have man this is how my new web developers lunch breaks are going to be i'm going to be making quick videos from five minutes to ten minutes every day for you guys so answering questions or topics that i might come up with so yeah man we in here i hope you guys like this man i hope you guys like this format and what i'm building for you guys and like i always say man if you want to become a web developer guys check out the description i have courses on my own website that i built if you like the swag you like the sauce you like how i basically explain things because i explain things pretty simple i explain it like dummy proof you know that's how i like it i like my shit dummy proof so if you like a dummy proof, like come to my website, I will show you how to build, uh, you know, a website from HTML, CSS, you know, responsive, show you how to do uh, Laravel, you know, the back end, show you JavaScript. If you like that, come to my website. Now, if you if you don't trust the king, you're like, man, I want to I want to find something that's already proven to work for a lot of people. Cool. I understand, too. Check out the description. You have Cole Steele's course. You have Stephen Grider's uh, ES6 courses and, and Re Redux, JavaScript with Redux, React with Redux. So check those courses out. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bow. It was over now, dogs. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything. All right. You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids, all right? And then from there, you got uh, my sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, Udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say, hey, I'm actually a developer who's successful, and I'm doing my thing thanks to Udemy. Okay, guys, check those links out. Best instructors in the world, they're right there. Trust me, guys. Believe in me. All right, and then from there you got the Discord, which is basically a chat room. It's a, a way to communicate with each other. Like, you know, all my friends are in there. You got your boy, Matt. You got your girl, Barbara. You got a couple of people in there. You know, we got Cam. We got the whole squad is in there, guys. Listen, check it out, man. Put in some time. Just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys. Fun don't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingPhase.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.